Something like the four years ago, there was small drama in the RC and FPV community. It all started, I think, in the late 2020. We had the middle of the of the pandemic with the live stream on the Joshua Bardwell's channel when the Hollywood actor Terence Howard joined the stream and started and announced that he is making a competition for building a linchpin whatever the name, a linchpin drone and the competition. The The price uh, that could be won over there was, I think, uh, $25,000. Uh, if you can make a drone that consists of the six planes in a very specific shape and it has to be able to rotate in any direction, translate flight and, and so on and so on. This first part was absolutely fine. Uh, then came the strange, I, I, yeah, strange part of the stream when Terence Howard started to explain how the linchpin is the key to unravel the mysteries of the universe because of the shape, sounds and crap like that. Uh, this like got strange, honestly very very strange. If you could like observe the face of the Joshua Bardwell once uh, the, the stream continued and the Terence Howard and his friends were like explaining how the universe works. It was like oh, oh, what the hell is actually happening over here. There was this uh, this project, the money was real and few people uh, decided to build the linchpin drone. Actually a few people did. Like for example the guy uh, that stands stood behind the uh, Imu, Imu flash Kevin, aka Quick Flash, actually implemented that. He modified the mixer of the Emu flight, uh, made this thing uh, fly, and uh, participated in the competition and got actually paid twenty-five thousand dollars. So fantastic, outstanding. This was just uh, magically, magically great, and and we all uh, like went homes, and everybody for basically forgot about the linchpin. Of course, after the drama settled and uh, some people stopped being offended because some people got offended in the process. Oh. I even recorded a video how this, this this whole competition is nothing harmful because okay it's a drone like it's fine nobody is offending the community you, everything is golden everything should be fine four year passed what's interesting this video was still uh, getting some of the traction uh, when for example Terence Howard uh, my video about the the whole the whole situation Terence Howard like two years ago was in Uganda or something and announced that he has this amazing hydrogen technology. There was a spike in the views of my videos, then the video died again. And now, two weeks ago, sometime after Terence Howard was on Joe Rogan Experience podcast and started to explain his magical science uh, left and right, there was a, one more time a huge spike of the interest in the topic of the Terence Howard and his controversial opinions on, the, on different scientific topics. And one more time, my video about the Lynchpin project got quite a lot of traction on the internet and I think currently is the most watched in the last month video on my channel, which is daily getting like a few hundred views at least. What's the, the outcome of that? The, the outcome of that is that, uh, well, you never really know when your video might get traction again. Second of that is that uh, if you want to, drones can deliver magical things. Like for example, this whole linchpin project. Whoever seen an uncon uh, like, stand like a drone like that? Six motors oriented in a very strange uh, configuration that can rotate in any direction uh, and uh, translate in any direction. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool stuff that if implemented correctly, I bet can be a very nice, uh, nice experience. And uh, you, need, you still need something like a special controller that will allow you to do uh, all the translations this thing offers, but still pretty amazing example of how powerful the drone technology can be. Uh, because the guy, the Kevin, did it, won the money, he used the open source software, uh, plus his uh, some extra knowledge and the dynamic mixer to pull this thing off, and it was amazing. Period.